Well, coffee time, friends. It is coffee time. It is supper time. We're having one of my favorites. Mama's not wild about chicken legs, but she'll eat them. And we bought them. This whole pack of chicken legs was less than $5. It was $4.96. And we're going to get two meals out of it. Now, that's a bargain. Mama says, I like them better and better. <laughs> I love chicken legs. Do you like chicken legs? No. Mama's going to fry the chicken for us. Cause she, Mama, tell me about your broccoli. What you up to? I'm just going to wash it good and put it in here and boil it. I'm going to cut the very ends off. I'm just going to boil it whole. Mom, you're not near the front of the camera. I know it. I have to come over here and get it and I can get that. <laughs> yeah. Get back in there, Mom. This is just three stems of broccoli and all I'm going to do is uh, trim it up and fix it and boil it whole like it is in some boiling water. And then, when she gets to boiling it, it's going to tell her what's soft, what's not. I'm going to bring these right over here for just a few, all right? So here I have got our legs. This is whole buttermilk. I should have put an apron on. Remind me later when I spill something on me that I should have put an apron on. And this is just a paper plate, but I'm just going to put a little buttermilk on there, just like that. I am going to put a splash, splash of salt and pepper on here, just like this. And I'm going to put my seasonings on here. This is y'all Southern Secrets. A little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion. It's got a little lemon peppery to it. This is lemon. It's not. It's lime pepper. This is ranch. Ranch is more than a dressing. Ranch is a seasoning. Now, this is not going to be too much seasoning. Some of y'all say, John, you over season. Well, you only season what you want flavor. It's kind of like your teeth. You don't have to brush your teeth. You only brush the ones you want to keep. So, you only season the ones you want flavor out of. Ain't that right, Mom? Yeah. You've heard of the famous 11 herbs and spices. This is flour going in this bowl. Just a white lily, self rising flour going right in there. Now, you just see me season those up, but a lot of that's going to come up. Let's come right down here. I'm going to put the same thing in here. This is just plain old paprika. Okay. Here is y'all's brand ranch. Covering the top. Y'all know how I like to do it. That's the way I measure. I cover the top. This is the lime. And this is the y'all's southern secret with the garlic and those others. Okay, I'm just gonna take this spatula here and mix these around. This is our dredge, okay? I put on it what I put, I put on the meat what I put on in the bread. So, let's just come right here and I'm just going to roll these around enough to get that buttermilk on them and into the flour they go. This is gonna officially be my wet hand because he's the one gonna be taking care of the chicken now. You want to get a good dose on it. If you want extra crispy, you're going to need to get you a bowl of buttermilk. And, well, you might be able to do it in this plate, depending on how talented you are. And you're going to need to re-liquid it, re-flour it. But tonight, this is what I'm doing. I'm getting some flour coating on these little bird legs. And I'm going to fry them. This is it, folks. And these are going to taste better than anything you've had in years. Unless you're like Mama, you just don't like legs. Mama, you don't like them or you don't prefer them? I just don't care for them. Don't care for them. What are you going to eat? I might eat legs. She might eat one. I might try. This might be a grit moment. What if you eat this leg and you said, boy, that's the best leg I ever had. I believe it's one of those things she didn't like as a kid and she just ain't going to eat it. 
But now she'll eat thighs. And she'll eat wings. I love wings. Oh, that's your favorite. We should have bought a pack of wings. Wings and bread. You want me to fix you some chicken tenders or livers? So we got livers. All right, we're having mashed potatoes. Mama don't care if you don't have nothing else. We've also got dressing in there. We've also got chicken in there and chicken and dumplings. And I think there's still barbecue pork chop. Mom, I can fix you any of those things in a second. Folks, this is as easy as homemade fried chicken's going to get. You can do this with any piece of the chicken. You can do this with your, the breast, the legs, the wings, any of that. There they are, folks. There's them likes. Let's go right over here. Mama, will you move that lid? Yeah. Mama, you babysit them. Now there's that broccoli. Mama even cut some off. I don't even cut it off. <laughs> you didn't like the look, so. Did you turn this oil back on? No, I did not. Let's get it hot. I didn't know how long it was going to be. You didn't know how long I was going to be. In my mouth. Yeah. Let's wash your hands good. Soap and water included. That's raw chicken. Mm -mm -mm. It won't take long because I had this oil screaming hot while ago. See if that good fork is in there. Or I can use one of those spiders. It's not ready because it's not dancing. Yeah, this is the good fork. That old hickory handle. Don't know if it's old hickory, but it's a good metal all the way through. This oil is not ready because it's not dancing. It'll start dancing when it's ready. Now there's the broccoli, y'all watch it closely. And there's the mashed potatoes. And then I'm gonna bring it over here and we're gonna watch this chicken too. Gonna to watch that chicken too. Well, this stove, it's either on high 100% or you just gonna be without. I just thought I had it on high, but it was one notch off, folks. Just one notch. But we're going to get it there. This broccoli will be done before the um, oil gets hot. Mama, am I going to, you want cheese with this broccoli? Yeah, I'll put some cheese on it. You want me to make cheese sauce, or are we just going to melt a little cheese? We'll just melt a little cheese. Okay. I'll show you that while this oil's getting hot. This is how you plan a bunch of stuff, folks. You need to plan your stuff out very carefully and make sure everything's perfect. Just like we did, right, Mama? Just like we did. So into this Pirates dish, I'm putting a little bit of cream So I put a little bit of cream in this Pyrex measure. And then I'm gonna break me up some cheese in here. Now I could do it on the stove, don't get me wrong, but this is so quick. I'm gonna put this in the microwave. I'm gonna tell you all a little secret too about Pyrex. If Pyrex is in all caps, then it's the original Pyrex. And, you know, you hear the story about Pyrex breaking. The all caps is the original Pyrex. This one is in all caps. Pyrex, all caps. This new one is in small. This one is a franchise. This glass is a different glass than this original. You can even tell when you look down at it. 
So I cook in the microwave in the original, all caps. But I quit putting the lower caps in the microwave for that very reason. This is starting to dance. I'm gonna take just a little bit of flour here. See how that said it's ready? It's ready. I'm gonna drop these legs right in there. And I want them to, I want them to cook immediately. Where's that lid, Mama? The shield, let me get the shield up. Um, I had my fork. Oh, right here, right here. Thank you, ma'am. Fried chicken fry. Fried chicken fry. Let's wash that plate up while we let that fry up. Now I'm letting that lids down there because that's acting up. That's a little high. Yeah, let's turn her down now. You wait till it gets hot, then you wait till it gets cool. A little bit of steam, making a little bit of noise. Good old Southern Pride. Those are getting dark, John. Because it's too hot. They're not burnt. They're just good and crisp already. Turn them babies over. Now I've got them turned down, and the fact that they're cold will cool the grease down. And they've kind of settled down. Look at that beautiful broccoli. Those potatoes are done. Now that, them legs, I dried them off. But they sure are being a little contrary. Let's let them brown on that side. They're legs, so it shouldn't take them long because you got that big I'm bone. The flour. Yeah, I'm through. We ain't gonna save that flour either. Because that flour would not be um, safe to use if you've had raw chicken in it, in my opinion. I'm trying to do better about my numbers, putting them in and not just trying to hit 30 seconds over and over and over. We talked about that the other night. Let's see these potatoes. They're as tender as your eyeball. They're done. This broccoli, when you when you do your broccoli like this, it will tell you how much can you eat. You might be able to eat that whole stalk if it's tender. But if you cut it off and just do the florets, then you're gonna waste a lot of broccoli maybe. Even if it's a little tough, you can, you can um, take the outer part off and it, it's, it's very tasty. I like the stalks of broccoli. Our chicken's not going to burn or not going to stick. Now we just got to let her cook for a while. I'll let enough steam come out that it won't take our goodie off. One thing I didn't do on these is I didn't put any cornstarch to make sure the bread stayed on. Mama, our broccoli is broccoli. Our cheese sauce is cheese sauce. That sounds like the plan. The plan has come together beautifully. 
Now, folks, if you can come up with cheese sauce any quicker, please share with us. Because we're all busy and we need to have all the time we can take. Uh, we'll use that these tongs for um, there's the cheese sauce. We'll use those tongs when we're going to serve it. Now, one other thing we're going to have, y'all guessed it. I'm going to bring you over here and set you down. I'm mixing up a quick coleslaw. Because what goes better with, and Mama's over there, she's going to make us some brown gravy to go with our mashed potatoes and our um, chicken legs. Because y'all know, Mama might not even want to eat chicken legs. I asked her before we went with this, I said, now Mama, do you want me to fix these on a Friday night when you party? And she said, no, I'll try them. I really don't care. I said, all right, we'll see. So, she likes everything that goes with it for sure. And I don't know how, how come she wouldn't just love them chicken legs. I know when I get a bucket of chicken, I always tell them, Put four wings in that, even if it don't come with it. She, that's what my mama eats. And usually, whoever's waiting on me will say something like, my grandmama only eats the wings, or my mama loves the wings. A lot of mamas claimed, back in the old days, they claimed, they were lying, but they claimed they like the backbone. No meat much there. But them precious mamas were saving that breast, them legs for them children. And they wasn't worried about themselves. So they said, oh honey, I love this backbone here. It's my favorite piece. And um, that's what a lot of them do. what? I said, that's what my mom would do. That's what my mom did. That's a magnet that fell on the floor. Oh, well, I was wondering where that came from. That was. <laughs> you should have seen the look on her face. You heard that. She was getting put some spices up. Anyway, that's the way they wrote. Nine precious mamas said, I love that backbone, honey. You eat that big old juicy breast. Now, some of y'all out there might say, Now, John, I don't like the backbone. That's not what you might. Let's get our small one. Yes, ma'am. I use that with the, uh, you know, cheese sauce. <laughs> you know, Mama, read my mind tonight. It's been a long day today. It's been a long Monday. It's been a long Tuesday. Why did I call it that? Because it's felt like a Monday all day to me. It was, it's not, it is a Monday, no, it's not a Monday, it's a Tuesday. Don't act like y'all don't know what day it is sometimes. <laughs> it is Tuesday. It is Tuesday. Let's get our cabbage all diced up. I'm doing a very fine chop on this. And I'm not going to over carrot it, even though Mama loves it with tons and tons of carrots. She asks all the time, can you make your special carrot slum for us today? Yeah. Sure. If you've been around a while, you know I'm making fun. Because upon two separate occasions, one of us, Mama or I won, made slaw and they put way too many carrots in even though they thought that was been really good. I think it was me. Was it me, Mama? I can't remember. I reckon it was. She, she remembers and she's not sitting yet tonight, but more, normally when I make it, don't make carrot slaw. Y'all hear it, don't you? In case you're wondering what on earth is this lawnmower he is using. This is the Tupperware chopper. Sonic chopper. This is our... Ooh, Mama's trying to, Mama is trying to break her uh, noise record tonight. 
She's she's sitting on a solid eight, you got no noise levels. Mama, that was about a nine. That one made me make that face. Um what was I saying? This is our supersonic chopper. This is the original one. So it's not there anymore, but the new one's red. Mama says it's the prettiest. Of Just because it's red. But ain't a bank of pilot slaw. You can make chow chow with it. Uh, it saves so much work. Every time you pull that string, it's 12 knife chops. Mama, I'm going to go and make all this while you eat it tomorrow. What, the slime? Yeah. I don't know if I need slime tomorrow or not. Well, I'm going to make it. You'll have to eat about 15 servings of it. Well, I don't want 15 servings. I eat it for two or three days. You'll, you'll have to eat it. That'll be enough for an army. I just done them to the pieces you gave me. This was you, Mama. If, if it ain't right, this is all on you. You only, she didn't want me to have much cabbage. She said, I'll fix your cabbage, which I knew that was code for. I don't want you to have much of it. Oh. Sometimes she don't want us to have much, and she'll tell us. Don't she? Oh, Mama. We had a great weekend. We picked at each other all weekend. How's it coming? It should be done. It smells done. Next to the bun, are you going to temp it? I made that uh, potato salad last night and I put the tomatoes. And I, boy, it was good. It was real good. It's not near done. Mom says, I ain't near done that chicken, eh? It may be tomorrow before we can eat that chicken. There we go. So that's a mound of slaw, but this is a small Tupperware that's a bowl. So it's not a huge amount. But now I'm gonna put a little, few little carrots in it. You see, I put up my slaw in there, and now I'm gonna do the carrots because I have messed up. Um, put your in, I have messed up with these carrots so much. I am a little gun shy. These are real carrots, folks. These were the big ones, and I cleaned them and put them in here. I'm going to start. Oh, thank you, Nick. I love it. Yes, Mama. Carrot juice. Would you like carrot juice, Mama? No. Oh. Mama, come over here and look at this here carrots and see what you think. I think that's enough. You did? Really? Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Now watch it. She's going to take this away from this. I can make it more. She don't trust me. She don't trust me. But now I ain't a bit upset. Because I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap them up and have them for a snack tomorrow. Not lunch. So if this little rabbit will do. What do you think of that, Mama? In goes our dukes. Now I know I've got some other opened in there from the potato salad, but I went ahead and opened this up. And Mama, what have you made out of this? I made that, but I know. Did you? Was this already open before? I could use this in my potato salad. I guess I thought this was brand new. Hadn't been up and we're going to finish them you up. Opened it up I probably did because when it's in the house, I'm going to use it. But I am going to use that other angle. Let it go to waste. This is going to be two tablespoons when I get through jiggling it out of this jar. 
Two tablespoons of beautiful Dukes. We're not sponsored by Dukes. We just like it. We just like it. I'm going to put a little salt and a little pepper. Mama, you want anything else to put in? A little bit of sugar. A sugar? A sugar and some red wine vinegar. A sugar and a red wine vinegar. I don't know how come I'm chopping sugar in there. Little sugar on top. This is a half a teaspoon, so that's one teaspoon. So one and a half teaspoons of sugar are to make it good. And a dash dash of this here red wine vinegar ought to make it a little zippy. That's about, oh, probably a, a tablespoon worth of dashing. And I'm just gonna mix it in with that sugar right here on top for a minute. I can tell you right now, uh, we're gonna have to have some more drooks. This is dry, Mama. Right, looking good. Huh? It's looking juicy. Now she don't want us to have any dukes. Is that a crow? I hear what she said. I'm gonna crow you. Would you think that little sweet woman over there at that sink could be a danger? I do, I'm scared of her. Mama, you were right, that was enough mayonnaise. Look how good this looks. I seen you put more in. That's the reason you said you was gonna crow me, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I've heard, did your mama ever say that to you, your granny? Anytime I done something like that, or when I said, you know, I'm trying to be funny, or like, um, uh, I don't know. Like if I said, if that's a big red balloon, mama said, I'm a big red balloon to you, which means I'm fixing to get you. Whatever you said, they repeat it and say you. Did my just flat down fall on the floor? I think she did that too, she ain't having She's having trouble of her back leg. Y'all whisper a little prayer from Maggie. She's doing, she's not hurt it. I seen it happen uh, yesterday evening. She couldn't use it for about five minutes. I worried. And now she's twisted it. And I'm worried about if she's having seizures or something because those dogs are prone to that. So just say a little prayer for her. I love the dog she, And sometimes she uses it fine. Other times she, it, she kind of twists it a little bit now. Which is something completely different. All right, Mama. Look at that angel down there. Look at her. Maggie, say hi. See how she's acting on her back foot? It's this one over here. <sighs> anyway, we're going to say a little prayer, and I hope she's doing well. All right, Mama, I'm gonna open your cream or your evaporated milk. I bought Mama a new one of these church keys. And it's supposed to be sharper and it's longer and it would help her. But she won't use it. Mm. You know where it's at? Mm. Mama, that coat's all that coat's all. It's fine brine, it's carrots, it's sugar, it's a little red wine vinegar, and it's about two and a half tablespoons of Duke mayonnaise. That's what we got going on. And I'm cleaning up my mess. Because 
If I don't, my mom will say, I'll miss you. Does anybody else remember that? We couldn't get in less than until about a year ago, I think. I don't, Dukes, you can't get it in Alaska. We have it in our area, but she, we have to go. I'm on the horse the nearest, but 40 miles, 35, 40 miles. Yeah. So it's not just something I'll stop by and get unless I'm in one of those offices where I can run by there. I mean, my carrots, I need to take them off that second door. Do y'all like carrot sticks? Just plain old carrot sticks. I love them. Mama, uh, what do you need me to do now? Mashed potatoes? Yeah, this broccoli. I need the broccoli and I'll cut it up on this cut board right here. That could be what I did. This is a clean dish right. I just broke it out of the drawer before y'all got here. I'm going to cut this broccoli up in florets, and then I'm going to see what that stem looks like. Y'all come right down here to this chore board. Let me have it. Oh. Out of your way. Let me wipe this chore board. Okay. So these stems feel good and soft to me, and I'm going to see... How much of them do I get to use? I think I might be able to use all those. I cut the end so it wouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Thank you, Mom. So let's try it out here. If you don't do your broccoli this way, there's a chance you might be wasted a smidge of your broccoli. So come right down here. We're going to show you. So I want you to just drop it in your water. Now, Mom, I don't normally do I just throw the whole thing in there. What's tough, I do throw away. So I'm going to cut these little crowns off. And this is just as tender as your eyeball. These little, these little crowns will just pop right off. You don't even hardly have to use a knife. Now, y'all be honest with yourselves. Everybody in the room, including me, would probably have thrown that away if you'd done it wrong. But now look here. These are just as tender as those. And you just keep on cutting them. Just like this, this, this. And I probably am going to be able to use this whole thing because it's all good and tender. This was a good, beautiful thing of broccoli when I bought it. Now, see, that's all tender. That piece right there is as tender as it can be. And Mama might not eat that piece, but I will. I love it. There's nothing wrong with those little pieces right there. Now, this is a longer one. Let's see how much of that one we get to save. Off with these little crowns. Just like this. And let's see. Do I get to save all this or not? Your knife will tell you. Those are just as tender. There's no pressure being used to cut these. The outside is not... No problem. And, and I... See, they're tender. I mean, that's broccoli. No waste. And look what a pile of broccoli these three little stems made. When I see broccoli on sale in the store, if I see a really pretty bunch like that, I buy it if it don't if it's not going to seed or anything. Now see, you can hear that. It's just, just tender. And you put cheese on that and it'll eat so good. That's broccoli. Now, you know we would have wasted some of that. Now, what we'll do with this is we will dip this out and then we will put cheese over what we eat tonight because that may end up in a, in a casserole or something in a day or two. Or it may just be end up for lunch. Let's stop. Mama, is that chicken? It's not a thing. Now, those are legs, surely. They're a steak for Henry and I 
Mama ain't feeling what's down. You notice how she's been a little... <laughs> Mama? Yeah. Don't you like us no more? A little. Mama. You're going to hurt their feelings. Is it hurt or your... There's feelings being hurt, Mama. Do we really have to specify? As long as we know a feeling's been hurt. Why do you guys never have a full life anymore? I don't. A full what? Joanne, I don't understand. We do a full life every night. Are you getting like a reel and it says go below to watch the full video? That may be it. Now ours is full. In fact, Mama gets on to me for being too full. You can still, if you can place that little prayer for me tonight. I was like, oh no, who said that? Who's Jay replied to Elaine. Elaine, we'll be praying for you. She's been in an accident. Elaine McDaniel. Elaine McDaniel, you have our prayers for sure. Hi, John and Mom. Hey, Sheila. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Dina. She's going to get you. That's the truth. I'll get to talking to tonight. Mama's been in a good mood. She's just out there busy, Mama. I You're going to be in a good mood for everybody? These carrot sticks are so good. Now I'll make a little ranch, put them in a little cup, take them to work. Come over here and apologize, Mama, for being so hateful and rude. I wasn't hateful. Look at that pretty shirt she's wearing. I know this might go my Nothing. Mm -mm. No, no. Coffee because the Delton is hard. That's yeah. the reason I drink it. Because the Delton's hard. I drink it because it's delicious. This is y'all's coffee. This is what, Mama? Uh, yeah. It was breakfast blend. This is breakfast blend. Because you didn't stay here to drink much. And you got it in the craft. It's still delicious. Mm -hmm. Bring them taters over here and I'll eat. I'll let uh, them no, eat. I'll mind them. Okay. And but the chicken's got to be done or you'll just have to learn how to eat raw chicken. And that's okay. ridiculous. Oh, okay. We can't make a chick We can't make videos with chicken if it's going to take uh, iron a hive for some legs. It takes a while for legs. They are thick that. legs. And Mama will test them to the bone and they'll be at the right temperature. And you do that too. I'm just joking. Don't never eat raw chicken. I was just saying that to be aggravated Mama. But we don't eat raw chicken. Never. <laughs> Let me get my smasher. I love this smasher. This little booger here. You know how you get mashed potatoes and they'll get if they got the thing it comes here and here. This one don't do that. And this one you can get all it's rounded, so it gets right down in that kettle. And I use this little booger for all kinds of stuff. I'll use it as a spoon to drain. It holds a lot down in this little part right here. So, it's pretty good. Mama, did you forget to make gravy? No, I reckon I did. Are you going to make us a couple of packs? Okay. You know what? There's gravy in the refrigerator. That's what I was gonna say. We don't have to make it. We can heat it up and eat it up. Because I was thinking, we just made gravy a minute ago. It seems like. For some reason, didn't we, Mama? Dumpling day with dressing. That dressing was so good. I ate a little leftover. And it was good. Well, let's mash some potatoes. Because we're having broccoli and cheese, cold slaw, mashed potatoes, brown gravy, and beautiful, beautiful chicken legs. Fried chicken legs. Now this is not going to be like so southern fried. In there, but it's not in there. This is not going to be like Sunday fried chicken because it's just the legs. But we do fry whole chicken sometimes. Mama buys them, cuts them up. I'm just going to put a little table pepper in here because y'all see Mama get choked on that grind pepper. Let's look over here in the skillet. Tilt your heads down here. Come on. So see. 
Mama just kind of wedged them up, but that's you can cut them any way, as long as they're all about the same size. Because then when you start mashing them, you want them all to be done now, and you don't want none overdone. Well, I don't know if they can get overdone, but they will get mushier. And they take on more water if they get too mushy too quick. And you don't want a big old kettle of watery mashed potatoes. But see how my, I get right down to the edge. See how they're going there? That's because this went right down to the edge. And this, oh, the reason we started using this, because mama had her old timey one, but it was metal. But you couldn't use them and just mash them in these kettles. I'm not gonna overwork them because I gotta mash them again after I put cream. But they're all good and mashed, and that's what we're going. I did, ma'am. What about salt? Uh, you put salt in them when we, when I asked you to. I did, but they need a shake shake. This is evaporated milk. From where we're from, we call it cream. Because it used to say pet cream on the outside of it. For what we had around here, didn't it, Mama? And we all called it cream. And then they said, nope, that's evaporated milk, kids. And we're changing everything around on you. And some of them change, and some of us still say cream. If Mama says, go in there and get a can of evaporated milk, I'd say, what? But if she says, I need a can of cream, I have no problem knowing exactly what to go get there, Mama. May not be wrong. And I'm gonna put a little extra because I want them to eat good in a minute. If I don't, they'll be too firm. And then when you take them up and put them in the refrigerator for tomorrow, boy, they'll really be firm. And even if you want to make potato salad out of them or something, it would be too hard to do much with, but maybe a tater cake where you add more cream then. Now I'm not gonna overwork them. And if you run into a lump, you say, thank you, Lord, for them real mashed potatoes. Get all the tater out of there now. That's, when I was a kid, that's how I knew to come and eat. I'd hear, pow, 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 with the mashed potato, and it was metal, on metal then. And I thought, Mama's mashed potatoes, that's the last thing she does before we eat. And I gotta go. She gotta go. How many y'all with me? How many y'all did that as a child? Heard that tater masher on the side of that skillet you knew supper was about to be served with or without you? Mama was the holler one time kind of gal. And you better get to it. Or she'll say I hollered at you. Ain't that right, Mama? That's right, she said. You probably couldn't hear. Let's get our table going here. When I was real little, that was another one of my jobs, to set the table. And I'll tell you something I always did, and it might be the, the beginning of my OCD features, but I always want the picture on the plate facing the right way. I wouldn't set that plate like that. No. We're going to set it like that. Someone asked me these plates of the other day. These were my grains. These are courier knives. The old grist mill underglazed print by Royale, made in the USA. And then I bought some at a yard sale from a friend of mine that matched them, but they are courier. They're something else. Yeah, they're something else. These are courier knives. But it was the same grace in the pattern. That may have been blue willow or something. Alright folks, we are done and ready to eat. That didn't take long. Not for fried chicken and all the fixings. See how them taters stiffen right back up? 
they ready. Let's bring these up here. Mama's getting ready to come over here. I want like to keep things high and dry in case we get into a food fight. Are you still getting a food fight? A food fight? You ain't wasting no food. You ain't wasting no food. You can fight in the yard. You ain't fighting the table. Ain't that right, Mom? Enjoy. If them legs ain't done, I'll eat them like they are. They are done, ain't they? I want to see if Mama will eat a chicken leg. Look at that. Just like downtown, folks. Smells like downtown, too. All them herbs and spices. Mm, Mama, that smells wonderful. You gonna leave the rest of them over back to simmer? Yeah. Uh, some of these are real thick. They are pretty thick. Let's see what y'all are saying. She got you, John. She always does. Sure, we all know that. I made meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and garlic butter cauliflower. Hey. Darlene, that garlic butter cauliflower sounds good. Now, we don't have sweet peas with our, but I would like some garlic butter cauliflower. Um, I sent a recipe the other day for cauliflower steaks. Like, I make cabbage steaks, and I thought that would be good. That would be real good, some cauliflower steaks. I think I blanched, Mama, she's right behind you. I think I blanched my cauliflower so it would kind of hold together a little bit and wouldn't crumble. Then I'd slice it up real thin like. Now, folks, I know I cheated on this cheese. This was just three slices of cheese and a little bit of evaporated milk. And I put it in the microwave. But, and it's a little lumpy. Let me stir it in it for a show. Mm -hmm. No, it just got a little cold, but it, I'm stirring it down. I got a little whisk. But anyhow, this cheese is delicious for that. Um, for this, for this uh, broccoli. Why can't you talk, John? Because you're tired. Boy, I'm tired. Mama, you just drinking Sprite tonight? You ain't going with no tea or nothing? Oh, that's what I had long ago. You set up all night? I ain't drinking that tea late tonight. You ain't? Did you have trouble, Mom? No, not bad, but I just cautious. I have whisked it. It's much better. Whisk away. That coleslaw sure is good, Mama. Look at that. Mm -hmm. That, I would say, is to perfection. What do you think? It's got one spoonful of mayonnaise too much in it? Oh, it's fucking eggs. I told you it had enough of them. A lot of starch or something here, Mom. We got all white. It's all blended in. No, we got green coming. Oh, it's a coming. You want one crown of broccoli? Yeah, very little. That's more than enough. Uh-huh. More or more than enough. Uh-huh. One crown, please. For the lady in the coral colored shirt. One crown of broccoli will be enough because it's green and she don't eat green. Mm -hmm. She eats cheese. Your daddy likes a little broccoli. He likes to. Mama say, you want, you want broccoli with cheese? He said, I want cheese with broccoli. I want a little bit of broccoli to go with this. Is that cheese. a little enough for you? Yeah, I think I'll take this. Okay. Well, I think they're both got the same Okay. Size. I just was picking up the first one. I just want to try to convince you it was smaller. That brown and secret to good gravy is I don't have it. <laughs> secret to grab it first. 
use chicken and pork or chicken and beef. The brown and the chicken together makes a wonderful the spread. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful meal. We thank you for these precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord. And we just pray that you'll nourish our bodies with it and keep us safe, dear Lord, always. Lord, we pray for each and every prayer request out there, every hurt and every pain, dear Lord. And the special prayer requests that come out through while ago, dear Lord, just say a precious Special prayer for the ladies in the wreck and for the others that had needs, dear Lord. Just pray that you always watch over them and kind of direct them, dear Lord. And uh, dear Lord, put a hedge protection on the children as they're going back to school and some have already been back. And just watch over them and kind of direct them. Your name we pray. Amen. Okay. I guess all kids are back to school, but now aren't they? Yeah, that's true. Sure Sometimes I forget the kids go back to school early in August. October. They should be back. Let's try this broccoli and cheese. That broccoli and cheese is delicious, and even these stems are to look good. Did you try a steamy pig? That's why I'm trying to get it. Now, let's get serious. Let's try this chicken leg with all them wonderful herbs and seasonings. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yeah, for grandma. Okay. It's hot, Mama. Take your fork and cut yours up in a little bit. Let a little steam out because it is hot. But it's delicious, and every one of them little notes in there, I can taste a little bit of that Ooh. lime, that rank, all that wonderful flavor. Mmm. Did you taste that? Mmm. Just the Do you have to grind? <laughs> <laughs> have you heard that before? It's hot. It's delicious, Mama. Now let's try this finely ground coleslaw. Look at that, folks. It's just like downtown. That's some good eats, Mama. It is. Uh huh. This is a Sunday dinner. We've been having Sunday dinners for weeknights. Have you noticed? No, I just eat food. We had some good Sunday dinners. Pork chops, and mashed potatoes and gravy, still good. Mmm. Folks, if I get four dollars and ninety six cents worth of chicken ten, chicken legs, make you about two meals out of it. It's delicious. Mmm. Not that good. Go ahead and talk. Well, here I tell you what. Let's just say goodbye. Why? Because we're getting ready to go. Yeah. Me and Mama's gonna go take in some chicken. So we're going to go. <laughs> now she's laughing. Just give us a hard time on that. I ain't gave you no hard time. You picked on me. Mom, you did. <laughs> you didn't want us to have any dates tonight. That was you. Huh? That was your imagination. Oh! She said, don't put no more. It's plenty. Well, it was plenty. No, it need a little dab more, Mama. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a blessed night. Get out and make some memories. It's dark. It's dark here. How about there? It's, it's what time it's is it? It's getting on a little slow. It's 724, and I heard on the news today here, I don't know about everywhere, it's going to be rainy Friday with mm. coming in the front, highs of 60 on Saturday, and lows in the 40s. Oh, goodness. I'm glad I got my sweet potatoes stuff today. Did you take sweet potatoes today? Mm-hmm. Was you here by yourself? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. I gotta watch her like a hawk. Here. I gotta watch her like a hawk. Say goodbye, Mama. I'm gonna go take up chicken. Goodbye, Mama. God bless you, and Have a wonderful, wonderful night and day tomorrow. Thank y'all for watching us. Thank y'all for sharing us. Our numbers are going up and it's all because of you. We really do appreciate you. 
Y'all have a blessed night, and Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll cook again. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye-bye.